Yo, what is up guys, Slingshot here and today I'm going to give you my first impressions of Forza 6. So let's start with the look and feel of driving. I can say that this is one of the best looking driving games on any console. I know PS4's Drive Club looks gorgeous, but Forza is Forza just pure beauty. Tracks appear to have been reworked for environmental realism. You'll experience clouds of dust floating across the tarmac flocks of birds in the distance and rain effects. Cars feel more alive in terms of the Drivatar AI feature, the feature that turns your Xbox Live friends into realistic acting driver bots. Because there were moments that I felt like I was battling human opponents when I wasn't, lucky for you, you can turn this aggressive Drivatar behavior off. Forza 6 also adds destructible tire barriers a real life feature of many tracks that has substantial impact on the game. Instead of simply bouncing comically off walls as you normally would in a racing sim, the tires absorb energy and slow you down, which can take you out of contention if you have car damage turned off. One feature that Forza 6 has brought on from its Forza Horizon sibling is the concept of spins, which is basically a spin to win game you play after every level up. Most prizes are credits or cars, and I found that it was tons of fun, but I mostly got credits or crappy cars. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Well, not exactly. For the rain is Forza 6's biggest draw card, and the effect itself is amazing, gorgeous. It would have been nice if the wet weather was able to arrive and break up dynamically, as it does in Forza Horizon 2 because it would add some tactical spice to the racing but visually and physically it's extremely impressive. The streaking droplets on the windscreen which slosh under the wipers and trace left or right with the cornering forces are a big step up from Forza Horizon 2, far closer to the likes of Drive Club. But it's the 3D puddles of standing water all around the tracks that really make Forza's wet weather racing an unmissable experience. Hit a puddle with one side of your car at speed and it's going to try to drag you off the track. Another cool feature and perhaps my favorite thing about Forza 6 is mods, which are basically trading cards that can be attached to your car before a race to unlock better attributes lower weight for instance, or better grip, or improved payout. Some can be used forever, some are only single use, and some have special abilities that are only unlocked on certain tracks. There are also dare mods, which challenge you to do something like take a worse starting position for extra bonus, or credits. You can win or use credits to buy mod booster packs, each of which has five cards of varying rarity. You can pay more for boosters with a higher likelihood of containing rare cards. Before each race you can attach up to 3 mods to the car and any cards you don't want can be sold. I haven't seen anything quite like this in a racing sim and it adds a new feature, fun dimension to this awesome game. Well guys that is my first impressions of Forza 6, let me know what you guys think of it. If you are going to buy it, if you already got it, if you think this game is super cool. But for me, Slingshot, I'm Aria. Please. <laughs> 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 <laughs>